was prepared after that part, after the introduction part, the overview part there, we want to come towards what the of your end, uh, supporting so overview supporting paragraphs here. Yeah. We'll be talking about supporting overview paragraphs. And supporting overview paragraphs there, what things are very important for you people? Y-axis, this is my Y-axis, clear? And this one is X-axis. You should keep few of the points in your mind while explaining here the overview, supporting overview paragraph, that you must talk about Y-axis, the percentages or units are being given over here, and most probably on your X-axis, what do we, we can find here? We can find time, okay. clear? We have start, studied about how to explain percentages, how can you people convert percentages into fractions or proportions, or how can you people explain time in different ways? Get it? Now, how many things are very important? This is my what? Word. Yes. Above portion, if you people can find out, this is called what? We call it what? Yes. Number two, can you people see here? This is yes. called what when I can say when. Yes. And things, the changes over here, whatever sort of changes are happening here, I can say how. How changes are happening here? And this is what I'm having here. Where, here, where the changes and how many the changes are happening here. So these are the four places, these are the four places, four points where you're explaining clear, you're explaining your uh, supporting overview paragraph. You must know that what am I talking about, clear? Let's talk about this one. Can you people see if you want to write down supporting overview paragraphs? So we can write down how many supporting overview paragraphs? Two, two supporting overview paragraphs. Get it? How many? Two supporting overview paragraph. Now to explain this one, look at the graph first of all. There are two ways that we people can explain this graph. Number one, one supporting overview paragraph you people can write down with the help of what? On, on, on fan line and then the second overview, supporting overview paragraph you can write on what? On swelling. We people can take a start from where? From the beginning here. This is the part, this is the first portion here. Can you people see here? This is the first one. And the blue line, it shows what? This is about fan length. It's about fan length. And the red line, it shows what? It shows about swell. Clear? And we want to write down about the overview, first overview paragraph. So how can we take a start? The first one, there is fan length. Now, in 2011, can you people see the time? In 2011, clear? It, the divorce rate starts with zero and reaches to how much? Clear? Nearly? Yeah. It's almost about 38. Yes, sir. Look, the word almost is very important here, or nearly 40, 38, because of approximation words. Clear? We are using what approximation words. Why do we use approximation words? We do not know either it's 38 or 37. Clear? So we can simply say, examiner wants from you people that how much? You can give approximation words. I can say that 38%. Are you getting it? Clear? And can you people see here, the same year, in 2011, if you look at that of the sweater and clear, it started with zero and reaches to how much? Clear? Almost 45. Almost 45 percent, clear? Now, what is the dif dis difference between here? So, almost, you know, 8 percent. I can say, the difference we can find out over here, clear, there is almost how much? 8 percent. Look, we want to explain it, suppose, clear? We want to explain it. So Sweden, can you people see over there? Sweden divorce clear. Sweden divorce. This is Sweden's divorce rate was about how much? Forty-five percent in two thousand eleven, being higher than Finland's rate. Being higher than Finland rate by how much? Approximately eight percent. What I say? The first line we have written here for the first part here. What is that? Late? As I say, this one. This, this is the part. Sweden, clear, it reaches almost how much? 45%. Clear? And you people can see that there is this, in Finland, clear, it's lower than this, almost 37 to 38%. So the difference we can we, we can cover up, we can do comparison over here, that Finland, clear, or Sweden reaches to, it started in 2011, clear, and reaches to how much? 45%. That is what? The divorce rate. Now you are making your own sentences, clear? How we can com com compile all these words into proper sentences? We can say, Sweden's, Sweden divorce rate was about 45%. Sweden's divorce rate was about 45% in 2011, clear? Being higher 
being higher than what? Being higher than Finland's rate by how much? Approximately 8%. And again, this is the first thing we have brought in over here. Now, then it rose to almost 50% in 2012. Can you people see here? It's in 2012, this is 2012. And we're talking about what we're talking about Sweden here. We're talking about in this paragraph about Sweden. So almost clear we can say just below. Can you people see? Just below. Like 50% is over here on this line. So it's just below how much? Just below 50%. Yes, sir. Clear? In 2012, if you look at it in 2012, it reaches to how much? Just, just, just below 50%. 50%. So the divorce rate in, in Sweden here in 2012. Uh, 12, it is the, I can say, is the highest, can you people see, as compared to other of them, this is the highest part, is the highest here, and it reaches to how much, it reaches to that of, 50, almost, or just below, 50%, yes. is this clear to all of you, yes. now, however, the figure showed a gradual decrease to about 47% in 2013, if you look at here, in 2013, this is 2013, clear? And what am I having here? This is a gradual decrease, yes, yes. clear? To almost how much, like 2-3% or it has decreased. Yes. So I want to write approximately, uh, it shows Sweden divorce rate, it showed decrease, clear? Yes. In 2013, it reaches to how much? Suppose almost to 47%. And after this, to, we, are, we are left with the, those of the two parts, clear? So we can say now, uh, the last part. After this, what happened? And continue to decline steadily to the end of the period. Now we want to conclude because in our first uh, supporting paragraph, words are more than enough. We are going to wind it up. We don't need to write more words because 150 words are very easy to be completed in this paragraph. So what I can say, and continue to decline steadily to the end of the period, reaching around 45% in 2014, and clear, hitting a low point of about 37% in 2015. We just want to wind it up here, and we want to say, look at here, it decreases, clear, in 2014, it reaches to how much? Almost like 45% clear, and it decreased further in 2015, the lowest lowest rate of divorces in Finland, clear, Sweden, sorry, and it reaches to how much? Almost uh, 37%. This is my first paragraph, supporting paragraph. Now, what is remaining here? We want to write down now in this case about Finland, this part, the blue one. We are done, in the beginning, if you look, in the beginning we did comparison. But later on, we did not talk about Finland because I, I, I'm going to write down the next paragraph in the second uh, supporting word part, clear? So I want to go with the second paragraph and what is that this percentage of divorces in Finland was less than 40% in 2011. If you look in 2011, the first year, first year, in first year, this is the first year in 2011, clear? This is the first year, and how much is it? It's almost less than 40%. Like we can say it's less than 40% clear, the, divorce, the percentage of divorce rate in, in uh, Finland clear, in the first year, in, or in 2011, it is less than 40%. But after this, after this clear, and it decreased in 2012, clear, when about one third of marriages in Finland ended with a divorce, Clear, as opposed to almost a half in the Sweden. Now we want to do comparison. Okay. Can you people see here? We did also comparison over here. In 2012, it's almost like too much low. Yes, yes. Clear, it's too much low. We are comparing this part with this part. It's almost like till uh, you know you is compared clear to the that of the uh, Sweden, like it's the half of that. Then next we want to keep continuing clear writing down about however the figure experienced a steady growth during the next two years. Yes. In the next two years, can you people see here? It showed what? Growth. growth. This is growth, this is growth. Yes. Clear? Yes, the next two years, this part this next two years that shows what? Growth. We can simply say that Finland, divorce rated in Finland showed a gradual increase here in the next two years, that is in 2013 and 2015, get it? 
then almost what we can say the last it rose to approximately 39% in 2013 then decreased by around 3% in 2014 and remained steady for the next year clear out the rate of swell so this is what we can like explain all the things about it